Do you feel like breaking the rules of goodwill? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. I didn't really want I'm to break the rules. I didn't want to do it. I'm just dying to know. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. As you can see, we have a few boxes going out today. We are about to go shopping after we stop at the post office. <laughs> oh, he wanted to be in my intro, but I told him I couldn't face the camera this way because the sun was bad. So he's gonna just <laughs> stop being a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is a new day. It is a Tuesday, and we're about to head into my favorite Goodwill for some treasures that we can resell and hopefully make a profit. Right, Andrew? Be nice. That would be nice. So let's go see what we can find. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe you just said that. Andrew found a lamp. It's going in my office. It's going in his office. It's lovely. It's so you. <laughs> Oh gosh, I see candlesticks. We're kind of wandering aimlessly today. I'm really, I've got no like, I like those. They're like modern, but I think I can like those. How much are they? Two bucks a piece. I'll take those for two bucks a piece. All right. Let's see what we've got on the shelves. Junkity junk. All right, so they've got a lot of fall stuff out on the shelves. I'm not really sure why. I'm pretty sure that spring comes next, but I just found a pumpkin. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's modern, it's not old at all, but it's a cute little pumpkin that lights up. And I've also got some Thanksgiving turkey little candlesticks that are vintage and they're marked Japan. So they are all coming with me. All right, so these little Garfield mugs actually sell for pretty good money and they've got quite a few of them. These ones are for a dollar, so we're gonna grab those. And we're also gonna grab this grouping of three for $2. So we've got five of them here. And um, I think those will go pretty good. They're actually McDonald's, but in the case of the Garfield stuff, they sell pretty good. So we've got those in here. Actually, I don't know, are those the same? No, they're definitely not the same. So we've got a, like a little collection of Garfield glass mugs for $5. Those are gonna do pretty darn well. All right, well, Andrew and I have moved on to a new Goodwill. Uh, hopefully we have better luck at this place. We did get some good stuff at the last place. I think the total spend was $18. I got the ceramic pumpkin. I got the little turkey candlesticks. I got a couple things, but it wasn't like, it wasn't spectacular. It wasn't like my last haul at the Goodwill. So we're gonna head into this Goodwill. Hopefully we have some luck. Hopefully, hopefully we can find some stuff to resell. And um, yeah, here we go. Let's see what we can find. I mean, they're not in the greatest of shape, though. It's a shame. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. that's why I said they're not in the greatest of shape. It's a shame because they're really cool looking. They are. They're Roadrunners. I thought I actually have the pheasant ones at home that I haven't listed yet. I mean, I don't know. Let's pick them up anyway because, you know what? If nothing else, we can stick them on eBay auction style. Somebody may still want them. Okay. I think, I mean, for Roadrunners. If you're feeling they're good road, about them. They're Roadrunners. Roadrunner, Roadrunner stuff usually goes good. Did you see what I found? Those are kind of awesome. Cool. Those are so cool. Ja. I love them. They're nice, fantastic. Nice glaze on the inside too. Yeah. They actually took the time to glaze the inside. That's what I'm saying. Those are nice. Yeah, Those these are, are good. older pieces. These aren't modern junk. Ooh. What do we have over here? I kind of like that. Fitz and Floyd piece. It's a modern one though. Eh, I'm gonna leave that one. I'm probably gonna regret that. Oh, chickens. You guys know I love chickens. 
All right, so I am a sucker for anything with animals on it. And even though this is probably homemade, I am going to take this with me because I think it is adorable. So it's going in the cart with our other treasures. Now Andrew said he had a good feeling about this place and you know, I'm starting to see why. We've got some good stuff today so far and we've only been down like two shelves. So um, I'm looking here. I like that. Looks like it's broken though, so that's a shame. Um, down here, I did see these mugs. Now, what are these? Are these Fire King? No, they're not. They're Corning. I'm gonna leave those there. Okay, so it wouldn't surprise me if we're gonna have a copyright strike in this Goodwill because the music is incredibly loud today. It just seems to be a, th a trend. Um, so I found this lamp. I really like it. It's got a teddy bear with blue on it. I think it might be Chinese. I'm not exactly sure, but I like it. I like the look of it. So it's going to go in the cart with some of the other stuff I've picked up. You can see I got those shelves. I got another primitive looking shelf. We've got the glasses here and we've got these figures that I absolutely love. They've got a real mid-century modern style to them. So we're going to keep looking here on the shelves and see what else we can find. <laughs> it's actually looking behind that. I know. I figured that. <laughs> it's an older piece. It is. Cracked. Where do you see the crack? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Wait, where? It's a manufacturing flaw. And that's just where they attached. I yeah, like it. It looks good. It's not marked Japan, though. I feel like those pieces are usually Japan. It's marked something underneath the tag. Ah. We should peel it off and see what it says. Do you feel like breaking the rules of goodwill? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I didn't really want to break the rules. I didn't want to do it, so I'm, I'm glad rebel. that somebody was willing to um, volunteer. What does it say? What does it say? Um, Japan? Rebel. I can't read it without my glasses. <laughs> Made in... Yeah, that one's going to be a mystery. You can't say stuff like I could I say know. it. What do you think? For two dollars? Yeah, take a shot. It's cute. Rooster planter again with the price tag covering up the more than likely made in Japan mark, but it's only two dollars. I'm gonna take it with us. America. <laughs> and that's how it works. In, in that case, I think I need no, you don't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this? How did I miss that? Oh, the elephant mug? That's pretty cool. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, look at that behind it. Oh, he's cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this whole video is just going to be a bunch of cuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so kidding? cool. Yes. Okay. He was hiding behind the mug. Can right. you believe so how he was there. hiding there? Oh my goodness. Oh, this giant. Yes, I think. Four dollars. Sure, why not? Sure, today is the day of just buying stuff. Look, they're even like trampling <laughs> this guy to death. That's they're wonderful. Like, they're stampeding over this they're, British yeah, guy. Yeah, they're like, let's stomp his face in and. Merca. Merca. Yes, I like it. <laughs> All right, so you won't hear me talk about this very often, but I am 30 years old. Now, when I was a kid, we used to have this stuff called Lisa Frank, and it was like all the rage to have a Lisa Frank notebook. Now, I just came across this Lisa Frank binder, and this was like all the cool kids had these Lisa Frank binders. Now, this has like all the original pockets and stuff. I mean, it's a little like worn and stuff. Now, this sells for about $35, and they only want $3 for it. See, all the stuff that I had when I was a kid, you know, it's starting to come back around and I kind of like it. So this is coming back with us too. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. I might have to just keep it for my own purposes, like organizing my stuff. Cause Andrew says I need to get organized, right Andrew? Yeah, cause that'll ever happen. <laughs> 
What do you think of this folk art teddy bear thing? Looks like a napkin holder to me. Yes, but it's folk art, so what do you think of it? Um, For $2. I'm sure somebody would like to have teddy oh bears holding their napkin. Oh my god, what did I just find? It's like a whole bunch of the brown bag things that I've been finding all over the place. And I have to have it. How much do they want for it? Five dollars for the whole bag? Do you know what this means? No, I don't. That means I have a whole bag of them. What are they? I mean, they're those cookie molds. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm good now. I think I found everything I'm gonna find. Although, I don't know, I keep walking around and finding stuff, so maybe that's not true. Treasures. We had really good luck at the Goodwill. I was really surprised by how well we did, but Andrew had good feelings about this place. It was either a toss up between coming here or going across the street. And he said, you know what? I've got a good feeling about Goodwill. And guess what? I was right. He was right. <laughs> so we ended up with quite a bit of stuff. We spent a total of $50 and I'd say that was pretty good. $50. Like really good $50. So I can't wait to get home, get it all unloaded, talk a little bit about what we paid and how much this stuff is worth. But before we get to that, we're gonna head across the street here to our other thrift store, our community aid thrift store, and see what we can find. We don't usually have a whole lot of luck there, but it's right across the street, so it's worth stopping in and seeing what we can find. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Chop chop. chop. All right, well, we are gonna try this. We're gonna talk really fast and really loud because the music is the worst in this place. I'm just gonna go on and on about the music the whole entire video and hopefully somebody will get the hint. I just walked right in the door and found this elephant and I absolutely love him. He's so mid-century modern and he's definitely coming home with me. Oh, he's got a little chip on his leg, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. We're gonna keep going. Let's look at the mugs. We're gonna check out the mugs and we're gonna talk really loud while we're checking out the mugs and we're just gonna blah and ramble and I don't really see any mugs that are worthwhile. But we're gonna keep going. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's some Santa Claus cups. No, not really seeing a whole lot. Ooh, that's kind of cute. I like that. All right, so we've got some Amberina glass here. It is an ashtray, but look at those colors. That is amazing. I'm really actually kind of surprised that Andrew walked right by this with the giant eagle on it, um, but that is going in the cart. Oh, it is $8. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to have to think about that one. Um, that seems a little bit overpriced, to be honest, but uh, we got our milk glass here. That always stays on the shelf. There's nothing impressive there with the milk glass. Um, we're going to keep going. All right, you guys know I don't often venture into the purses and the clothing, but I just found this and I like it. It's vintage. It's $4. It's coming with us. It's phone cord. I know it's phone cord. That's what makes it so fantastic. You could make a phone call on this purse. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Elvis is calling. <laughs> Oh gosh, we've got all the Vera's over here. They always have Vera's here. Um, this is where I buy my Vera's when I buy my purses. Because I'm just, I still buy Vera purses. I'm stuck in like high school. Andrew, what did you just call this? The Doctor Who nerd purse. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. I Obviously it's modern, but um, yeah, that's going in the cart. We're like loading up on purses today. That's a new different thing that we don't usually do. We can get this um, Indian purse or this thingy that's real flashy. All right, let's see what else. All right, well, I'm filming this segment over here, but I'm actually going to go over to the counter and film a vase real quick. They have it marked for $20. It's incredibly modern, so sadly modern, and I cannot believe they're asking $20 for it. But one of the things I like about coming to this thrift store specifically is looking at the stuff that they think is worth money. And in this case, it was kind of laughable. So let's go check it out. Oh, cringy, cringy. Okay, and over here, check this out. 
Oh, Wade Whimsies. Now I do like this vase down here. They've got six dollars on there, but over here they've got these Hot Wheel cars. And they've got like a hundred and eighty dollars on the Hot Wheel cars. Now I don't even know what those go for. I haven't looked them up, but I just feel like that's kind of a little bit optimistic without looking them up. All right, I think we've got everything we're gonna get today. Of course, I'm right under the speaker. That's where I picked to do the wrap up, but Andrew's got this really cool Irish coffee mug. It's marked Americana. You've gotta talk loud and fast. Yeah, for the Americana of New York. <laughs> yeah, but it was made by Hall, so. Yeah, we Maybe like peace. it. Yeah, um, I picked out a couple shirts here for myself and then this one maybe for resale I've decided to branch out because of you guys uh, I've got a couple things here in the cart that will go over in my haul video So make sure you tune in for that. I'll post that tomorrow, but we're gonna get out of here now All right, so that was a pretty good trip to the community aid better than any trip I think we've ever had there as a matter of fact while we were standing in the checkout line I took an opportunity to look up that phone cord purse yeah. that I bought and a larger version of the purse sold for $460 so I'm feeling pretty good about that I didn't have a chance to scroll through and see what the smaller version sell for but I'm optimistic that that's gonna be a big seller so we had an awesome day we found some great stuff tomorrow I will be posting the haul video where I talk a little bit about everything we spent uh, what I paid for each item how much I think it's worth what I can get for it uh, so make sure you stick around and we'll be posting that tomorrow so we will catch you next time Bye. Bye. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without don't worry I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description